It is day three in the August challenge. What? It's a good day. Hello, my equestrian friends. It's me, Lisa, the budget equestrian. Welcome back to today's video. I can't believe it. This is like the third video in a row I've made and uploaded. This is awesome. I'm on a hot streak right now. So if you're following along, this is day number three in my August challenge. So far we have cleaned out our tack room, made it pretty. We focused a little bit on groundwork and grooming. And today it's a new day. So we have something new that we're gonna work on. And today I want you to try something. You might've already tried it. I do this with my horses, but today I want you to take your horse for a walk. Yep. Yep. I want you to put your horse's halter on, put his lead rope on and take him for a walk. You don't necessarily have to do this on a road. If it's not safe, don't do it on a road. You could do this around your property. You could do this in your arena, somewhere where it's safe and you feel comfortable walking with your horse. A lot of times it seems like people have issues with their horses leading correctly or respectfully. And I had this with Pleasant when I first got him where I could put his halter and lead rope on and just try to walk him anywhere and he would just stand. He was, <laughs> he wouldn't move, he just stood there. But with lots of practice and lots of repetition, Pleasant is really pleasant to lead around. I can pretty much ask him to go anywhere. He's respectful, he minds his space, he minds my space. But I think this is probably because that's what we do a lot is we go for walks. Sometimes I'll just walk him out in his paddock. Sometimes I walk him in the back pasture and other times we'll walk down the driveway and out along the road. This isn't something that I did like <laughs> in one or two sessions. This is something that we worked towards of getting him off the property and out onto the road. He's really easy to take for walks though. And I think he likes it just as much as if like I'm gonna take my dog for a walk. He enjoys getting out and looking around and I enjoy taking him out. And this is just one of the processes that work for me because I do wanna ride him through my subdivision because we have dirt roads, as well as riding him on the trail behind my house. And for me, the easiest way to do that is to get out there with him when I'm on the ground and just walk with him. I like to do this to see how he's gonna to react to me and to the new surroundings. And I feel safe with him on the ground because we have done so much groundwork that if we were to get into trouble, I would feel comfortable getting myself out of a tough situation. But if you've never taken your horse for a walk before, try it in the arena first and just see how your horse leads. Does he try to run in front of you? Do you have to pull and tug on the lead rope to get him to come to you? These are things you want to have an idea of how your horse is going to react before you take him out on the road, especially if you're just going for a walk. So my challenge for you today is get out with your horse, take him for a walk, even if it's for five minutes or so, just get out there and walk your horse. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY projects, product reviews, and horse related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.